Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have a review of the Allure, my main attraction in the color Champagne. So I have this in the color Champagne, a really, really pretty blonde. Now I have altered this wig, just to let you know. I cut a little bit more bangs into this wig. It does have side swept bangs, but I didn't like them because they were falling in my face a lot. I was having to brush brush them out of my hair a lot, out of my eyes. So <clears throat> what I did was I just uh, cut some bangs with my trusty scissors and that's that. I really like this little wig. It's cute and I'm gonna do the review in just a minute. But before I do, I wanna talk to you about subscribing. Please remember to subscribe, comment and uh, give me a comment about the Allure in the comment box below and give me a thumbs up and a like. Um, a lot of people are not subscribing, but they're watching. So give me a subscribe, it's free, it costs you nothing, and it will help me out with my wig channel quite a bit. So I hope you do that, and I hope you enjoy Wigs and Fluff. And it's my pleasure to bring you all of these wigs for you to look at and enjoy. So let's get back to the allure. Now this is a short, sassy bob with side swept bangs. Um, styling cream or wig wax is going to really help with this um, particular style. You could pump it up. Um, with this particular color, champagne, I had to use the, um, let me go get it. Here it is, the Beach Babe um, dry shampoo because it was too shiny. And I hate a shiny, shiny wig. That's a dead giveaway of a wig. So I used some dry shampoo, first of all. And second of all, um, I used a little wig wax to pump it up just a little bit and to get it to uh, style. But I'm telling you, if you want to cut bangs like I did, it's pretty easy. I've showed you, uh, I have a whole, um, video on cutting bangs. I showed you that the other day um, live. I cut some bangs. It's very easy to do. All you need is a pair of scissors and some of those alligator clips and put the hair back at the side and just go up and down like this. It's very easy to do. You don't want to go straight across. Some people like to do triangles like that and you can do that but <clears throat> to me, I don't like the look of that. I like it much better shaggy and brushing my eyelashes like this. I like just a fluffy, shaggy bang. I think that looks the best. Um, it's somewhat a fluffy bang. Probably not as fluffy as I would like, but it suits the um, hairdo. Like I say, a little wig wax spray is going to really help pump up this wig. It does have some permatease in it. It really does. Um, I do like permatease. I like a little hot, little lift, a little height, but it doesn't have too much permatease, that's for sure. It just has a minimal amount. So I'm going to turn around and show you the back and the sides. First, I'm going to show you the card. Let me show you the card. This is the Allure by Main Attraction in Champagne. In Champagne. Here's some alligator clips. That's what you can use to cut bangs. And you need one of these little combs like this to cut bangs. So if you're of a mind to cut bangs in this particular wig, you'll need those as well as a good pair of scissors, professional scissors. There's the back, beautiful. It comes down two and a quarter inches in the back. There's the sides, beautiful side profile. I really like this one. I like wearing it back behind one ear. You can wear it down if you want to, like this, perfectly fine. I just enjoy wearing it back like that. I think that is really, really cute. Um, inside the wig. Let's go inside the wig and see what it's like inside. Let's turn it inside out and see what we've got here. 
These are usually very well made. Here you have a comfort strip on the front. You've got a lot of open weave and a small amount of lace around the top for the permatease. And in the back, all open weave, you've got Velcro adjusters, which I love. Velcro adjusters, open ear tabs so it's easy to wear glasses. This is really a nice wig, a really, really nice wig. Cute, short, cool for summer, lots of flow through. You see all that open weave there in the front? That's going to make it a really cool, cool wig. The color is champagne. I always like to hold it up so you can really see the color. I think you can see it better when I hold it up. Champagne. Beautiful, beautiful gold blonde. Now, it is sprayed with dry shampoo right now. So it's not as shiny as it was when it came. That's a little secret. You can always use a little dry shampoo and it takes that shine off and it looks more natural that way. At least that's what I think. So the only thing about main attraction that I have a problem with, and I love main attraction, I don't have many problems at all, is that they don't put the name of the wig on the tag and the color. I like the name of the wig and the color on the tag because, as you know, I have many, many wigs and there's lots of people like me that keep many wigs around, many wigs. And you might have 20 or 30 or more. And it just depends. Wig, wig wearing is an addiction. It really... It truly is. Once you see one, you just want another one, and then you want different colors, and you want grays and reds and blondes and brunettes and all kinds of pretty colors. So it can be an addiction, but when you've got that many wigs, you need to be able to keep them straight, who the manufacturer is and the color. and I mean, what the style is, not the manufacturer. They put that on the tag, okay, but the style the allure in the color champagne. That's what I would like to see on that tag. Now I can write it myself with a marker, perfectly fine to do, but I really appreciate like Norico puts the name and the color on that tag and that is perfect for me because then when you hang it up, you don't have to worry about losing the tag in the string. They could use a better string too on this wig. I've been frustrated with the string that Main Attraction uses. I like that red cord that Paula Young uses. It seems to hold a little bit better. So back to the Main Attractions. So we have a basic cap with no mono top, open weave, open ear tabs, and Velcro adjusters. Beautiful, beautifully made. The bangs are 5.25 inches Sides are 5.25, back is 5.25, the nape is 2.24, that's like two and a quarter inch nape. So it's a little bit on the short side. I like a good two and a half inches to cover my long hairline, but this one will do. It's 2.2 ounces in weight, very lightweight, extremely comfortable, like all main attraction wigs are, very, very comfortable. Um, it has permatease. It does have permatease, but it is not overdone. Now, you can wear this with a cute little headband. You can wear it like that. Cute little headband. Great to wear with a headband. I wonder if you could put it behind your ears on both sides or not. This one doesn't want to go behind my ears too much, but you could do it something like that, I suppose, if you wanted to. I don't like that look as much as I like putting it up here in the middle, just for a shot of color up on the top. I think that's cute. I like that. So if you like wearing headbands a lot, I do. See how cute that is? Just a shot of color. You're not really holding anything back. You're just putting a little bit of color that matches what you're wearing. It just makes you look a whole lot cuter. So that's one way. Another thing you can do is my lovely heart-shaped 
bobby pins or any other shape that you care for, but I love the heart shapes. And just taking some of this, leaving some of the bangs down, and just put it a little bit back like that. Just using a little bit of a cute, really, really cute. I really like doing that. So any way that you want to wear this wig, it's going to be a cute, cute little wig. I like wearing it just plain like this behind one ear. That's just my preference. But no matter what you do with this wig, it's going to look cute. I really love it. You may need to adjust the bangs. Let me get my scissors and show you my scissors. You need a pair of these to adjust. Everybody's forehead is different. I've been preaching about that every day this week. Everybody's forehead is different and sometimes these side swept bangs are going to work for you. They'll work beautifully and perfectly and other times they're going to be flat in your face and in your eyes. And I don't think there's too many people that care for that. I don't care for it because it frustrates me. I don't like I keep having to pull it back. So that's what I was doing with this wig. So I just trimmed up the bangs a bit and I just make them shaggy. I don't really try to do anything too fancy with bangs. I just like them a little eyelash skimming and shaggy. I think that looks the best. Just my personal pre preference. You could bring a little bit of wispy down the front if you want to do something like that too. That looks cute. That's another way to wear this wig. Really, really cute. This is the Allure from Main Attraction in the color Champagne. In the color Champagne. Now, I want to talk to you about something else. Jesus is the only way to heaven. The only way. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. He is not one of many ways. He is the only way. No one, regardless of who you are or what your reputation, achievement, special knowledge, or even personal goodness can come to the Father except through Jesus. He's the only door. So trust Jesus today. He is the only truth, the only way and the only life. And that's my story for today. And I am wearing the Allure wig by Main Attraction in the color Champagne. And I have altered this wig just by cutting some bangs, trimming up some bangs. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do because your forehead is a different size. Everybody's is. So, this is my story for today, and I will see you tomorrow.